What's up guys, it's the Overrun Galaxy here, and I am guest starring here on the Team DDD YouTube because the own owner of the Discord decided to message me and ask me if I would go over a gimmick puppet deck profile. Um, from what I understand, a lot of people have asked him to do one, and he just doesn't know that much about them, so he came to me knowing that me and my fiance have a pretty good list, so without further ado, I'm going to go through this. Um, and if, if you want to look more into depth on this deck profile, I am going to be posting the same deck profile onto my channel, but with more in-depth um, explanations behind the cards. So, the first card we play is three of the Bistol. Bistol you want in the graveyard uh, most of the time to be able to banish it itself and then um, you know, be able to banish a Gamic Puppet. And for the rest of the turn, your opponent cannot target your gimmick puppets with effects. Three Jury Doll. Jury Doll um, is a nice special summon from the graveyard because you can banish another gimmick puppet monster and special summon itself out. It's also a machine duplication target. The two Magnet Doll, um, just because it's can. Since most of the deck is gimmick puppet, it special summons itself to the field, and it's another level eight. Um, I like to look at gimmick puppets as the dark version of Galaxy Eyes. You want your uh, level eights out there so you can get to your rank eights. Um, we play three Destroy because Destroy has the ability to destroy a gimmick puppet monster, and then if this is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon up to two gimmick puppets from your hand. So, um, a great tactic is to normal summon itself, use its ability to pop itself, it goes to the graveyard, you get the special summon two level 8 gimmick puppets from your hand. Um, another two of is we play two Humpty Dumpty. The Humpty Dumpty is just because if it, if this is normal special summon, you can uh, special summon a gimmick puppet from your hand. Three Terror Baby, um, the Terror Baby is a three of because you can target a Grim Puppet Monster in your graveyard and you can special summon it in defense mode and then you can banish this and your opponent cannot activate things in response to gimmick puppets. Two Gear Spring Spirit, Gear Spring Spirit, um, is great for giving puppets because the whole deck is machine. So if you have at least one machine in the graveyard, you can special summon this, and then you can make one of your opponent's monsters attack become zero. I played two Ghost Ogre just because I know Ghost Ogre has been good this format. Um, you can definitely switch this for any hand trap that you want, but I I like the Ghost Ogre with this. Two tether, um, tether wolf, just because we want, we play four links in this deck. Um, so you want the tokens, and I also play a Rorodon since the uh, the deck is machine based. The last of the monsters is the two astral Kribo. This is busted in Galaxy Eyes and in Gimmick Puppets, just because it can turn itself into a level eight by revealing a rank eight, and then you can, um make that monster unable to be destroyed by battle of card effects when XZ summoned with it. The three machine duplication. Um, obviously I said it works well with Dreary Doll. It also works with Terror Baby and um, Humpty Dumpty. Two condolence puppets. And then I play three Allure of Darkness instead of trade-in. I just feel trade-in is bad for this being you have to discard a level 8. At least with this, the whole deck is basically dark. And you can just draw into a lot of things with the Allure of Darkness. One Foolish Burial just for more things because giving puppets work well in the graveyard. Two Junk Puppets, which is our Monster Reborn for the deck. One Called by the Grave. 
rank up magic numeron force and argent chaos force just numeron force being able to negate effects when it's used and then argent chaos force brings itself back to your hand which is just great and then two puppet parade to be able to get your rank up magics for the extra deck we play um one chimera doll it's just it's nice to be able to, to grab a gimmick puppet from your hand and then you can special summon a gimmick puppet nightmare phoenix and night uh cerberus just be able to pop a special summon monster and a um silver trap obviously i said we had played the aurora Dawn. it's uh this card is busted in gimmick puppets this package I play actually helps me against things like Dragoon. It's the number 23, number 84, and then number 77. I really don't use 84 and 23 that much because I just use him as Xyz buffer to go into 77 just so I can now banish things. One um, Zeus Sky Thunder because the deck is Xyz based. Um, one gimmick puppet Gigantes doll, um, to be able to steal our opponent's monster. The number 15 to, um, destroy opponent's monsters. The number 40 to be able to, dis uh, again, destroy opponent's monsters with string counters. And then one of our win condition cards, um, is number 88. I don't see a lot of gimmick puppets deck decks play this, but I play it just because it is also my fiance's deck and she loved the gimmick puppets. And then last for the ex extra deck is, um, of course, you're going to be playing their chaos form, so the C15, C40, C88. And then for a quick side deck, um, two Radian, the one uh, Colt Wing, two egg, Egghead, one Quick Chaos, and three Twin Twisters, one Red Reboot. A third puppet parade just in case. Two infinite impermanence and then two trap trick. So that is the gimmick puppet deck. Um, again, if you want a more in depth explanation of why I chose the build that um, I have and what it does, I am going to be posting it on my channel too. Team DDD, thank you for um, having me on here. And it was an honor to do the deck profile for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.